animatedanatomy.com. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Faris, and in my previous lessons, I talked about the muscles, the anatomy of shoulder muscles, the anatomy of shoulder bones, and the joints. In this lesson, I will explain the innervation and the blood supply to these muscles. Remember, I will be removing the muscles the way it's easier for me and for you to see the nerves. I will not go from the functional point of view and I will not remove the muscles from the functional point of view, but rather, for example, I will start with this big muscle here, the deltoid muscle, and with the pectoralis major. When we remove these muscles, we will be able to see deeper and smaller muscles, which will allow you better understanding. The deltoid muscle, as I mentioned in my previous videos, contains of a anterior fibers, the middle fibers, and the posterior fibers. All of these fibers are innervated by the axillary nerve. The axillary nerve, if we remove the deltoid muscle, can be seen here. If you look at the axillary nerve in the transparency mode, you will be able to see that the axillary nerve goes like this and then you can see that it comes from the brachial plexus. We turn back to the standard mode and we look from the front, we will be able to see the brachial plexus here right underneath the clavicle. The axillary nerve is known for two more functions and that is that it innervates the teres minor muscle and it innervates also the long head of the triceps brachii. Now let's explain the uh, pectoralis major muscle here. The pectoralis major muscle is innervated by the lateral pectoral nerve. If we remove the pectoralis major muscle, we can see the nerve right here immediately. This nerve also arises from the brachial plexus over there, same as the axillary nerve. You can see here this vein, that is the axillary vein, and here is the axillary, wait a moment, please. Here is the axillary artery. And the nerve, it passes across the axillary artery and vein, and then it goes this way down and it innervates the pectoralis major. Now we have here the pectoralis minor muscle, and the pectoralis minor muscle is innervated by this muscle here, the medial pectoral nerve. The medial pectoral nerve also has the origin in the brachial plexus. The medial pectoral nerve has its origin therefore from C8 to T1 and you can imagine for example it's very important when you damage the vertebrae or, or the, the nerve roots at these segments of your uh, spine then it's normal that these muscles will be affected as well. The function of these muscles will be affected. Unlike the previous nerve that we have learned, the lateral pectoral nerve, the medial pectoral nerve actually passes under the vein and the axillary artery. Now here we can see the serratus anterior muscle. The serratus anterior muscle uh, is innervated by the long thoracic nerve. And the long thoracic nerve is right here. The long thoracic nerve has its origins from the roots C5, 6, and 7. Now I will remove the biceps and the triceps muscles because I will explain these muscles when I explain the anatomy of the arm. Now here we can see the muscles here, the subscapularis, the infraspinatus, and the suprascapularis muscle. Here was the teres minor that I already explained the narration of. Before we come to these muscles, I would first like to explain one more big muscle, and that's the trapezius muscle here. Now we will remove the trapezius muscle, and we see a bunch of muscles here. However, I will try to show you these nerves. This nerve right here is the accessory nerve, and this accessory nerve is actually the 11th nerve of 12 cranial nerves. The accessory nerve innervates the trapezius muscle. The accessory nerve also innervates the sternocleidomastoid muscle. The sternocleidomastoid muscle is also innervated by the cervical plexus. But when we get back to the trapezius muscle, 
It's important to say that the trapezius muscle is also innervated by the cervical spinal nerves C3 and C4. Now let's remove all of these muscles because we're not actually interested in these muscles. And this is the, right here is the C4 spinal nerve. And this would be the C2. Just a second, where is the C3? Moment, please. Okay, it's right here. So this would be the C3 spinal nerve. And these spinal nerves also innervate the trapezius muscle. And they innervate both the motor and the sensation, while the accessory nerve only innervates the motor function of the trapezius muscle. Now there are three muscles here left that I will explain and then we can go back to these little muscles over there in the rotator cuff and so on. So here we have the levator scapulae which actually has its innervation from the spinal nerves C3 and C4 and it also has the innervation from the dorsal scapular nerve. Now the C3 and C4, we have already found them, they're right here, but the dorsal scapular nerve is what we did not show yet. The dorsal scapular nerve also originates from the brachial plexus, just like the many nerves we had before. And you can see how it goes here, right here on the, <coughs> along the border of the scapula, right here is the scapula. And it's called the dorsal scapular nerve. Now the dorsal scapular nerve is important because it also innervates the two muscles here, that's the rhomboid minor and the rhomboid major muscle. Um, the origin of the dorsal scapular nerve, uh, parts of the dorsal scapular nerve that innervate the rhomboid major and minor muscles are actually C4 and C5. Now I will remove these muscles simply so we can see everything better and it looks more simple. Uh, the muscles that I did not explain is the muscle here, the uh, supraspinatus muscle, the infraspinatus muscle. This one over here is the subscapularis and here is the muscle called the teres minor muscle. Now these muscles create the so-called structure, the rotator cuff. Let's remove other muscles as well so we can see everything better here. The rotator cuff has an, its innervation from the suprascapular nerve, axillary nerve, and upper and lower sub, subscapular nerve. And here you can see the very small muscle that goes right here. You can see it. Uh, the nerve actually, this nerve right here. That's the lower subscapular nerve and here you have the upper subscapular nerve. They innervate the subscapularis muscle and that's the muscle right here. Let's remove this muscle so we can see better the structure. Actually I'm gonna remove all of this. Yeah, It's getting harder and harder. I should maybe select it and turn on the transparency mode. Uh, here I have selected only the scapula and the upper and the lower subscapular nerve. You can see how they uh, what's their position in comparison to the, uh, the the scapula and actually here is also the subscapularis muscle so it's not hard to find them they're just small if you go back to our previous model everything gets messy and it's hard to notice it but you can still see them here now this muscle here is the supraspinatus muscle and it is innervated by the suprascapular nerve that's right here the suprascapular nerve so let's dissect this model further let's remove this this okay so here you can see the uh, suprascapular nerve let's remove this muscle as well and the nerve is quite visible now okay now this nerve also <coughs> innervates the muscle if we turn on the scapula, you can see here this is the spine of the scapula. 
It, that's why the upper muscle was called the supraspinatus muscle and the, this one here, this muscle here, is the infraspinatus muscle. Now this infraspinatus muscle is also innervated by the suprascapular nerve. Remember, the nerve right here from this side of scapula, it was called the subscapular nerve, and this one here is suprascapular nerve. So let's remove the infraspinatus muscle, and now you can see the nerve clearly here. As for our last muscle that's left, the teres minor, I have explained this muscle in the beginning with the axillary nerve. I have dissected here virtually with you the muscles and I have shown you the nerves. However, I realize that this cannot be the last video in the shoulder and muscles anatomy series simply because it will take too long. So I decided to explain the blood supply in my next video about the shoulder anatomy. Sure. What we offer now is very simple. We offer you my very own animated lessons. We offer you my very own anatomy atlas and 3D models in one package. Lessons. We offer you my very own anatomy atlas.